I want to explain a few things about how you can control product IDs for variable products. I'm referring to variable products, WooCommerce variable products. Uh, this is important because it uh, allows Meta product catalogs and the Google Merchant or Pinterest product catalogs, TikTok catalogs to match the data from an event to a product in your catalog. So when you do dynamic ads, this is really important because uh, Meta, Google, TikTok, Pinterest should be able to understand what product was visited, what product was added to cart, what product was purchased by a particular user. Now, uh, we have various options. I'm on, inside Pixel Your Site on the plugins WooCommerce page. And here you can see ID options for Meta, Google, and so on. And there are two things. You can enable this one, treat variable products like simple products. What it means? It means that we will use the parent ID for all events, no matter what um, variation is selected, we will use just the parent ID. This helps if you, for example, want to upload only the parent ID and no vari variations to a catalog, which is possible. Not really recommended, but sometimes people want to do it for some reason. Uh, or you can enable this one for product pages, track the variation data when variation is selected. And now this is a product uh, with variations, but this is the default page. No variation is selected. The option will do nothing here. So the events, I, I will use meta because it's easier to visualize. This is the parent ID and content type is product group, meaning that meta will understand that this is a variable product and it will look for the um, product group ID instead of ID to match products. Now, this is a, a variable product with a variation selected. In the default configuration, the event will uh, send the same data as here, so uh, the parent ID. However, if you enable this option, we will send the variation ID. This is the whole setup. We will send variation ID and product type product. So this time the match will be made with the uh, variation, not with the product item. So the group item, it's a nuance. It doesn't mean anything, but uh, sometimes people want to do this kind of uh, very strict redirect. And if people land on products, variable products with a variation selected, they should, uh, they want to have the variation ID used instead. You can do it. We have this option for all the tags. Make sure it makes sense with your setup. So these are the two things I wanted to show you. This one basically ignores variations IDs and this one um, uses variations IDs for um, product pages when the variation is selected. All uh, with this off, all the uh, other uh, related uh, e-commerce events like add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase, different names on TikTok, different names on um, Pinterest, check out for purchase, uh, but they do the same. All these events use always use variations IDs because at this moment, if this is off, at this moment we know what item uh, the client is interested in. That's it. I hope it was clear enough. I think I use variations too much. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichescu. Subscribe to our channel, like this video and uh, share it. Thank you.